Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode number 25. Yes, that is right. With the cat meowing and everything, this is episode number 25 of KMA's Jams. Welcome aboard. We've made it to the quarter century mark, which means I will unrelease the world seed I had asked in Twitter. Should I do the world seed? And somebody said, yes, release the world seed. I never really understood that, but I will put the world seed in the description of this video and every other video that follows henceforth. <clears throat> also, as you can see, Optifine 1.9 is running, so I can do some special things with Optifine now that it's running. But I got my old texture pack, it's almost completely finished um there's a couple of stupid things that i still have to fix like uh inventory um like see when i place blocks up here they don't match where my thingies are supposed to be and look that's not quite right so um <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have to fix a couple of things but they're minor fixes and it's just basically i need to find a half hour to an hour to perfect the perfection of the 1.9 changes of the thing um, of the world of Minecraft <laughs> also um, another thing that I uh, re-brought up is um, let's see if I can remember how to say yes I will go to my favorite changers I don't know how bad this is gonna kill the um, it killed my friends about halfway yeah, went from about 60 to about 30. I'm not a big fan of shaders, but they're good to fun to use if you're trying to show something off. So <clears throat> it is nice that I have the ability to use the shaders. And my favorite thing about shaders is if it's dark out when you're holding a torch. It shows you the way. So, um, but before I get to upset with the shaders I'm gonna take them off because I particularly don't like playing with shaders I like to maybe show things off with shaders but I don't actually like to play with shaders so enough screwing around and telling you what's going on um, I am gonna go back into my normal mode give you a little heads up and like I said the world seed for this world will be in the description and um, that means you can kind of like see what I started with or you can just go back to the episode one and do it yourself. I never understood the world seed um, but it's there for your fun enjoyment and it's always nice to go back to look at the beginning of an episode or a what the world looked like before I added things like that tree farm and the R2D2 project. And um, before I get too far ahead of myself here, this episode, and I'm working really hard trying to get this all fixed up and done, um, is I drain the, the water temple. That's what we're sitting in right now. That's water temple stuff. Yes, it is drained. So I decided I'm going to go and figure out what I need to do to make the water um, guardian farm. And I decided I was going to use the drop down killer method. So up there where that thing is, that is the top level that guardians will spawn. Basically there will be a uh, water source block at level 61. That's what that level is. And then that water source block will drop three more blocks. So there will be four um levels of water with the top one being the source and underneath the water will be fence gates and i'm going to cover this whole thing up i'm not doing one of those little itty bitty farms and doing one sixteenth of this whole area this whole thing should be covered up which means i guess if things are right about ten thousand pieces an hour which obviously means i'm gonna be here after this is all done even though it's gonna take me 30 hours of real life to Make this farm, I'll probably use the farm for a total of an hour, hour and a half of my existence on this. But it will give me enough blocks to do whatever I want. So basically, um, 
Seeing that that's 61, and the fence gates are going to be at level 57, I need the things to drop 35 blocks at least. So that gives me down to about level 22. So then I realize, well, I'm up there. I got to get rid of all of this. And there's easy ways to do it, and I'm not doing it the easy way. The easy way to do it is to get myself a beacon and place it right here and do the haste and just run, and I'll be done. But I don't have the ability to get the beacon right now and go blah, 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 and become done because I do not have um, all the things to kill a wither. I only have two wither skulls and seeing I derped like a big massive, oh my god, badly did I derp. I got all my gear with mending and I was all so happy. Then I was cleaning out some caves down here and I died. I had no idea where I was, um, but it was somewhere around here and I didn't make it back to get all my stuff. I had my good armor on I, with all mending and chance. I had my, my efficiency fives with mending, my sword with looting and mending and all that. So I had to start all over again. But I have all good gear again with mending, thankfully to my villager farm. But this took about five hours to get everything back to where it was. And of course, the first thing I do when I come back, I got hit by a zombie horde. I kind of freaked out a little bit and I, I forget, oh it was over here. Because hey, I knew there was lava there and I'm fighting and I'm fighting, don't get caught in the lava and I turned around and I looked. And I hit the Q button and threw my pickaxe right into that lava. <laughs> so I had to go back to the um, blades farm and redo another pick. So I had a pick that had maybe three or four hits on it that was just about as good as this. Efficiency 5, still touch and breaking 3 mending that I didn't even get to use. So basically yesterday was just to recover from my stupidness. And today, this is what I'm doing. I streamed some of it earlier today and I'm going to stream some of it as soon as I'm done recording this little introduction to this video and I'm going to say this video is going to be strictly based for the guardian farm. Hopefully I can get the whole thing done in this video which means that I have to do probably record episode 26, 27, 28, 29 while doing this episode. But this will still be episode 25. Somehow, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to guarantee you anything because I haven't really thought anything through. But I am a couple of episodes ahead, so I do have plenty of time to get this done. It's just whether or not I will actually have that time. So, without much more wasting my time, I am back to... Yeah. So, when I do this... Or a couple of more thousand times. I'll get back to you and show you how depleted my gold supply will be. Seeing I need a couple of thousand power rails. <laughs> and probably another couple of thousand pieces of glass. And a couple of thousand fence gates. And yeah. This is going to take a little while, but it's going to be well worth the wait. So, I'm going to go, I'm going to have some fun, and I'll be back. Alright guys, I have finished cleaning this out 100%. It is done. No more blocks. Well, I can't really say that. <laughs> Actually, I'm standing on where the glass is going to be for when the, the guardians fall from the sky this layer right here is where the glass is going to be and then the carts are going to be underneath it so I do need to dig out three more rows at least to get the carts but this is kind of what it looks like and you see oh there's scaffolding up there um, and a little side project as you see there and I'm kind of hoping to get something to spawn for you there but this is the design I have. This is what the pods are going to look like when they're done. And I got... Oh, and here comes one. There we go. We know the height kills these. 
so I'm at a good height to kill them. I've yet to have one survive. <laughs> I've yet to have these survive. I gotta definitely make this thing slime proof because um, slimes are quite annoying. So this is the standard um, pod for the guardians. You have the trap doors holding up the water, not the trap doors, the fence gates holding up the water, and you gotta have them open and they'll fall through. Now you have one, two, three, four height of stained glass. The fence gates are the fifth height. They're not actually at the same level of stained glass. So the stained glass is basically to keep the water in. And that top level of the water and stained glass is the same height as the top level of the temple. So that's the center of the temple that I left up there so I know which height to put this water at. And then you cover up the water for good measure because I guess the spawning rates are, oh my gosh, much better when you cover up this water. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but when I first made this farm, I was um, a little worried because I wasn't really getting the spawns I was looking for. And um, yeah, that kind of really scared me. I'm like, what am I doing all this work for? So, and I, I realized that uh, these vents gates uh, take up a lot of a lot a lot of uh, wood so I'm gonna go back down there and I'm gonna do some more work and I'm gonna go kill this guy everything's colored everything is oh it must be to do with orange not only with orange oh. I haven't seen color Everything's colored. Alright, Houston, we have a problem. Quick stop of building my farm here, my guardian farm. I showed you the processes by putting the dirt down and showing you quick little uh, fast updates as I was going in the last segment. I put the dirt down and put the fence gates down on them. Then I opened up the fence gates and I got rid of the dirt. Well, actually, no, I made these glass walls. And I got rid of the dirt, then I dug down some more, and then I put down this beautiful, um, what do you want to call that, stone brick flooring with these red lines that will power my rails, and I was moving along and everything was kicking butt, and I was like loving life, and I'm going to get this farm done because all I got to do now is put water in these, <clears throat> and then hook up the redstone, but, um, you see there's a problem most of this floor is empty that is all I have been able to do that is all I can do with the powered rails I guess I had a huge shortage 
of gold in my world. And I need oh, just about 10, 15 more stacks of gold to finish this before I can wire it up. So yes, I have all the uh, Guardian Farm ready to go, except for I need to finish placing down the powered rails that go back and forth across this whole thing. And then over here <clears throat> is going to be the drop-off location. At the end of these power rails, they're not going to loop. It's just going to be a cart for each track, a, a hopper mine cart for each track. And there's going to be a regular rail. Do I have? No, I don't have any regular rails on me here. Then another powered rail where this block is, uh, or actually underneath this block, where the hopper mine cart will stop and unload its stuff into something. I don't know what yet. I don't know if hoppers will be able to handle the amount of stuff I'm going to get out of here. Um, or if I have to do a um, water stream source where I just shoot these things out in dispensers. But dispensers cause a bunch of lag. And I'm going to have at least 20 dispensers over here shooting on a timer. And I don't know if I want that. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to set that up until it's done, but I, my original, my original thoughts for this video was that at the end of this video, this farm was going to be complete. And I didn't realize my gold situation, which will stop this project and this video smack dab in the middle. And <clears throat> that's kind of upsetting. So, this is where the video is going to stop, yeah? And how are we going to fix this situation? Well, uh, the next video, uh, what I have to do immediately is get above the nether and build a gold farm. I've done it in the past, but apparently the one I used to use, the impulse gold farm, is broken. So, I'm going to use... Um, a new version I'll tell you about that in that particular video we'll just call it the big donut in the sky and um, when uh, when I get the gold for that which hopefully will be the next uh, next episode the next episode build gold farm reap the rewards and then the following episode after I build the gold farm so this is episode 25 26 will be building the gold farm 27 will hopefully be back here to finish this project up and um, so if these ap this episode is released before then I have a question for you guys what should I do with these walls I need to figure out what to do with the walls I'm thinking of making it square around the whole thing so the top parts blue and this part has something I was thinking of doing some sort of murals and um, taking some nice water pictures um, and putting it into the software that makes breaks it down into pixels and which blocks I can use I forget the name of that program but I'm kind of clueless on what I want to do here usually when I do the picture thing and try and recreate it it doesn't really look that great um, but I need something on these walls and I don't know what I'm gonna do yet so if you have any ideas let me know the one good thing about this uh, farm here is seeing I've had to cut out so much I have a shit ton of stone bricks I've already f used up some of these over here um, what are over here is more stone and so I have all the building materials for the gold farm and so I guess that's what we're gonna be doing and also you notice when other people make this then I'm gonna go I'll stop talking and I'll let you go do what you need to do just probably watch another video from somebody else um, <laughs> uh, right next to these redstone blocks um, Doc M and even Exuma put rows of um, redstone lamps here and the reason why they did that is because to stop the spawning of these mobs right here. Um, there's two or three uh, slime chunks in here. 
And it's really kind of annoying hitting these things all day long and smacking, smacking, smacking. I'd rather be building farms than being smacking green stuff. But um, seeing that this whole floor is going to be covered with rails, and one of the cool things about 1.9 is um, mobs don't spawn on the rails. So I'm not going to put any lights down here. And the reason why I'm not going to be putting any lights down here um, is there's going to be a row of blue glass at my eye level, so this level, on top of all the rails here. And up top there, after I get the water in for everything, all the uh, channels will have a um, cover of this stone slab. And then there is two blocks, again, to the very top of the glass there. And I'm just going to put in glass where there's holes. And I'm going to recover the top of this with water. So basically, um, if you're up top on the water, you could take a boat and boat right across the top of this farm. And guardians will not spawn because the level that I have the top of the uh, water chambers here is at the highest level that they will spawn. So if I cover this with water, guardians will not spawn on top. And so I think it will be look look real cool, kind of, you won't notice it unless you're looking for it, especially if you're up there. And um, so that's an idea I have for this. And also the other idea, every, everything is gonna be coming over here, culminating over here. Um, so I was thinking um, of making a base at, the ground level here a dome thing or something where I could have all the drops from here and also a drop down viewing room so I could like view from this level here and watch everything drop down into the farm so maybe I might need lights these are all just ideas I'm throwing off of you um, and <laughs> there's lots of ideas so <laughs> just going through them all but you know what <clears throat> That's it for now. Uh, I have to go make a gold farm so I can finish this project. I apologize for not getting this farm done, but this is an extremely big project. And to try and get it all done in one or two episodes is a little ridiculous. And I was trying to do that, but I ran into a gold problem. So I'm going to fix my gold problem and I'll be back here in a couple episodes. But next episode, um, gold farm. So, guys, have a great day. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and all that good goulash. And especially if you want to see what this farm's going to look like when it is done. Because I'm going to tell you, it's going to be pretty epic. Not too many people uh, do these guardian farms on survival alone. And this one is going to be um, a little overpowering. <laughs> okay, a lot overpowering. Um, as I've already gotten... A couple of stacks of stuff just from having 16 blocks with things falling out of it and now there's gonna be a thousand something blocks with things falling out of it yeah it's gonna be amazing but anyways I hope you enjoyed the show have a great day it's Keith from KME's Corner goodbye